In addition to medical treatment, pulmonary rehabilitation in the form of supervised exercise is an effective treatment to manage COPD. With the increase in the number of people with COPD and other chronic diseases, care is becoming increasingly expensive and there's a shortage of healthcare providers to support patients. In addition, the high number of consultations per patient per year makes the cost of pulmonary rehabilitation in primary care relatively high. More self-management is a possible solution for sustainable and affordable healthcare. However, self-management does require that patients are adherent. Understanding who are adherent and who are non-adherent could be helpful to differentiate between patients who need more or less clinical supervision during pulmonary rehabilitation. To support healthcare providers in making their choices of support for the benefit of the individual patient, we developed a prediction model, PATCH, that predicts patients' probability of adherence to pulmonary rehabilitation. To develop PATCH, we followed 196 patients with COPD receiving pulmonary rehabilitation in both the Netherlands and Belgium for one year. Based on the results of a systematic review and the theory of planned behavior, a pre-specified model was created. It was also taken into account that the predictors should be quite readily available, should not be too costly to obtain, and can be measured with reasonable precision. The final model included four predictors. Patient's intention to exercise, depressive symptoms, the MRC dyspneu score, and the patient-therapist relationship, the so-called alliance. To make the prediction model easy to use in practice, a calculator is available. Questionnaires can be used by the patient to objectify the independent predictors. Then the scores from these questionnaires can be entered into the patch calculator. MRC score, intention, depression, and alliance. The calculator provides a probability output that indicates the chance that the patient under evaluation is adherent. This probability output will enable healthcare providers to objectively determine which patients are adherent and might be able to exercise more by themselves. When the average number of consultations can be reduced by self-management, healthcare costs are directly saved and the pressure on healthcare providers will also be reduced. As a result, healthcare capacity might be better distributed, potentially reducing pressure on healthcare without compromising the effectiveness of pulmonary rehabilitation for the individual patients.